She go with them. I thought I said she leaves very early. That's what your husband told me now. You see what I'm saying? That these people have been suspecting them. Something is up. Oh, it's just seven. Mm, I I'm not sure. Let's just wait. Let's let, let's give her more hours. But well, she's looking very nice. Yeah. She's looking healthy now. Wait. Let's wait. Let's stick around now. Maybe she's gonna go out later. She's not coming out. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. We have to, you understand, stay around. I'm not saying let's go. Let's stay. Yeah, morning, ho. All right, boy. See you later. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Okay. All right. Honey, you forgot the list that I gave you on the table. I forgot to, because I was in a hurry. Don't worry, I'll come back to pick it up. Okay, fine. Grace is such a wicked person. He's very heartless. So you're right, but like you need to calm down. At least you've set your eyes on her now. Set my eyes on her? That is not enough. It's not enough, Linda. I know, but you saw her. She's looking healthy. <sighs> looking healthy. Did you see that? She didn't live with them. And he said that he, he, she normally leaves very early and comes back late at night. But we saw her. She was inside that house. She never left with them. Grace is such a wicked person. I knew something was up. I knew something was wrong. That guy has, that guy has been lying to us. You're right, but you still need to calm down. Just can't tell me to relax. This is Lucy we are talking about. Our friend! This girl is being held captive in her house. We need to rescue her. We need to do something about it. Well, she looks very nice. She looks fine. She looks healthy. <laughs> You're funny, Linda. This is not enough. I will go to that office and I will tell him to his face. I know everything. <sighs> Relax. He's looking nice. Great, so this is what you've been doing to Lucy all this while. Yes, we saw everything. Just tell us, what are you hiding? The only reason I'm entertaining you and this nonsense that you're doing is because you're Lucy's friend and I respect her opinion. But I'm really busy now and I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Now I also want you to listen because I am going to get to the bottom of this. Get out of my office. 
I am not going anywhere. Do not think this is over. Because I really want to know why you are keeping my friend in that house like a slave. Get out of my office or I'll call security. <laughs> now you're threatening me. But I'm not scared of your empty threats. Because I know definitely I'll get to the bottom of this. We shall see. To make things right for you and I Can't you feel my pains? I'm going slowly, feeling all the guilt I don't want to say goodbye I'm here to stay, you are all I want Just give me another chance Give me another chance To put things right for you Oh baby I know I really hurt you bad, but I wish it never happened. I've learned from my mistakes. Can you please give me a chance to make it right? I am sorry. I am sorry. I am sorry. Morning, my boy. Did you have a good night? Uh, good morning, honey. Good morning. What's the matter? I'm fine, honey. You don't look happy. I'm fine. Just take Larry to school. Bye. Bye, mom.
Dad. Yeah. Why is mom angry all the time? <laughs> Your mom is not angry all the time. She's just not feeling too good. But mom didn't tell me she's sick. Mm, well, it's not everything she'll tell you. But it's not fair that I would have prayed for her if she had told me. <laughs> Don't worry, your mom is fine. Okay, okay then. Let's go, let's go, let's go before we're late for school. Alright? That reminds me, yeah. I've been meaning to ask you something. Okay. It's your wife. She does not go anywhere. I've never seen her go out of the house. Yes, that's because it's her choice to stay indoors. I've told you before. But guy, you know, we've been friends for years now. If there is anything wrong, it's nothing bad if you tell me. Steve. Yes. Are we here to discuss my family? No, no, no. Don't get it wrong. Dude, I've told you that nothing is wrong with my wife. Everything is fine. Thank you for your concern. So let's move on. Please. All right. If Let me just finish so. this. Uh, let me just finish this. We'll go. If you say so, no problem. Yeah. Uh, honey, please, I'm sorry. Um, look, the people have started to ask questions, and first of all, Boss and Larry, please forgive me. I'm sorry. We agreed on something, and you accepted. Why are you bringing it up now? Look, I don't want Larry to grow up with the memory that his mother was leashed in the house for years. Honey, please, I'm sorry. Why are you trying to make me look like a bad person? I, I never said so. Yeah, but that's what it sounds like. 
We agreed on something, you accepted. Why are you trying to paint me black now? Listen, I need to go to bed. Please. I'm tired. <sighs> Mom, why are you crying? I'm not crying. <laughs> okay. Then why is tears coming out from your eyes? Larry. Mommy has flu, Larry. Okay. And you didn't tell me about it? Larry, your mommy says she has a flu. Eat your food. Let her be. Okay, Dad. What was the meaning of that rubbish? Huh? Why were you crying in front of Larry? It was a mistake. I, I didn't know when tears fell out my eyes. Listen, I don't like what you're doing. You're making it seem like I'm the bad guy. But I didn't say anything. What I've been asking you for is your forgiveness. Yes, by forgiving you, I don't hold any grudges. But I cannot go out. Stick to the agreement. Give me another chance to put things right for you. Oh, baby. I know I really hurt you bad, but I wish it never happened. I've learned from my mistakes. Can you please give me a chance to make it right? I am sorry. Mommy, please, can you take me to school today? No, I will be taking you to school. But, Dad, I want Mom to take me to school today. Enough, Larry. I said I'll take you to school. And that's fine. Okay, Dad. Goodbye, Mom. My sweet. Concentrate on your books, okay? Just give me another chance. Everything will be right for you and I. I am I'm sorry. I'm sorry, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry,
Hello. Um, honey, I just found out that foodstuffs has finished. Okay, make a list of everything I need. Uh, send it to me via a text message and I'll get them on my way back. Okay. Hey, darling. Hey. How are you? Yeah. Welcome, honey. Yes, I uh, brought the yeah. You bought all of them? Of course. Oh, <laughs> let me take them. Dad, mom is the one supposed to buy food stuff, but you prefer to buy them yourself. Why, Dad? That's because I don't want to stress your mother, right? <laughs> yeah. that since after Lucy got married, no one has heard from her for over five years now. Do you know that I thought of the exact same thing? She's also left social media, did you know? I think something is wrong somewhere. Exactly. We need to find out. We do? Yes, we do. She's our friend. We need to know if something is wrong. You're still disturbing yourself about her. <sighs> Belinda, why are you acting like you don't care? I do, I do, but like, you've been calling her for hours now. I, I, I have to call her more to see if I can reach her. Listen, you need to relax. She's with her husband, so if anything has happened or possibly happened, We'll have to hear from you, right? Just relax, chill. I don't know, I'm really worried though. This is five years we're talking about. I can't relax, we're talking about our friend. Okay, don't worry. just relax, yeah? Everything will come out. It will find out why she went solo, you know? As we're single now. 
And so I'm just marrying just Let to see. Let the married breathe, please. What if I had opened this door for Steve to come in? He would have asked me questions. Why I always stay indoors? Larry boy, how are you? Good afternoon. How are you, Missy? I'm fine, thank you. That's good. Uh, What's up, man? I was at your place to drop off this file and your wife didn't open the door. <laughs> what do you expect? No, I told you she loves to stay alone. Oh, oh but that's strange. Why? Okay. Okay, give me a file, Alex. Give me mm -hmm. a file. Give me the file. I have to go and uh, give it to Mr. Lewis so that I can take Larry home. Larry. Boy. Do I need to sign? Mm, I don't think so. Good. Lucy, why are you sitting here crying instead of sleeping in bed? Why? I'm not feeling sleepy. Why? Did you just ask me why? I've been locked in here for years without interacting with anyone. Do you think it's easy being locked up for years without interacting with anyone? Being locked up like an animal in a cage? Are you asking me why? Okay, I don't understand. Why are you, I mean, this is something they agreed on. So why are you making it seem like it's such a big deal? Yes, we agreed on it. Yeah. But you're refusing to understand that it's not easy at all. Okay. In due time, everything will go back to normal. For now, I'm going to have to ask you to come with me, Lucy. I don't want to go anywhere. You can go and sleep. Lucy, come with me. I'm not bed. going anywhere. Besides, it's been years. You have not even touched me. What am I going upstairs for? as beautiful as you. Oh. Can't wait to start a future with you, a family. Speaking of family, mm -hmm. I want a boy and a girl. And I want two girls who look exactly like you. No, 
grow into a boil and a girl. Oh, okay. And we'll move out of this place to a bigger, better place. Why? No need. Really? Okay, you'll at least let me buy your car, though. We have a car. So considerate. Is that why you live here? Linda, I'm thinking we should go visit Gray at his office to find out why Lucy's number has not been connecting for a while now. I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? Lucy's our friend and if anything is wrong with her, we need to know. It would be very bad of us to just sit down and act as if nothing is happening. And we know her number is not going through. Okay, if you want to. Me, I'm busy. I have a meeting. One meeting. You should just say you don't want to go. No problem, I'll go. I'll give you the gist later when I'm back. Have a good day. Bye. You mean it's a pleasant surprise? When they told me you were here, I was surprised. <laughs> That's good. So mm. how have you been? I'm fine. How are you? Fine, fine. How is family? Very well. That's good. Yeah. You obviously know I didn't come here to just no, <laughs> see I your know. face. I know, I know, I know. But can I get you something though? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Yeah. You know, um, I've been worried about my friend. Mm. You know, since she got married, I just feel like... <laughs> She doesn't want to talk to us because probably we're not married or something. <laughs> but I know she wouldn't do that. So yeah. um, I've been trying to reach her. Her number hasn't been connecting. And I'm like, what's the problem? What's wrong? Mm, it's not a problem. There's really no problem. It's just that Lucy's really busy at work, you know. Mm -hmm. um, this, her job is very demanding. Okay, so she really doesn't have time to communicate with people. You know, like, like mm -hmm. she gets home really late at night. Even I myself. <laughs> I'll see her only when she gets back at night, you know. I see, I see. Mm. But what about her phone number? It's like she changed her phone number and at least let her just call. We can talk over the phone. Mm. Like I said, her work is demanding. She really doesn't have time to talk to anybody on the phone. Yeah, even sometimes I call her, I can't reach her until she gets home at night. So that's that's the issue. Okay. No problem. It's like she changed her number. Her yeah. old number is not going through. So just Give me her new number so I can actually call her when she gets back at night. That's my fault. You can reach her through my phone. And, you know, anything you want to say to her, just call me and um, she'll talk to you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, give me my number. Like I said, it's not a problem. Okay? 
If you say so. Yes. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. No problem. Oh. I will let you be because I know you're busy. Yeah. And I also have an appointment by 12. Okay. Thank you for stopping by. Thanks for the concern, but it's not a problem. Okay, it's no problem. No problem. Mm -hmm. Send my regards to her. I will. Have a nice day. Hello, Linda. What's up now? <laughs> Can you imagine? He gave me his number instead of his wife's phone. Maybe his wife won't be happy if she finds out he gave out her number without consent. <sighs> I don't think that's true. Why would the wife be angry that we collected her number from her husband? Doesn't make any sense. Vanessa, I think you are overreacting about this whole thing. Huh? Let's just mind our business. This is someone else's marriage we're fighting over. Don't tell me that. This is our friend we are talking about, so I should be worried. By the way, what did you even contribute? Why should I contribute while well, the husband has made everything clear? Hello? Hello, Gray. Oh, good evening. Please, can I speak to Lucy now? Oh, okay. Hold on. She's here, yeah. I'm on the phone call. You're fine. Hello? Hello, Lucy. Vanessa, how are you? I should be asking you that. You just disappeared after you got married. Uh uh. Not even on social media, no one can find you there. Um, I've been so busy with work lately. And my work is so hectic that I cannot associate with friends. That that's all. Your work? Lucy, are you sure you're fine? Are you sure everything is okay? I'm fine. You know, I'm married now and I have a family to take care of, even after work when I'm back. Is that why your husband cannot give us your number? Instead, he's giving us his. Oh, sorry about that. Um... I told him not to give anyone my number. Um, <laughs> but it's fine. You, you can communicate with me on his phone anytime. Um, either early in the mornings or late at night after work. Lucy, are you sure you're okay? This is all like you. Vanessa, I'm okay. Okay, if you say so. All right, bye. What did she say? She said she's fine. You see? I told you there's nothing to worry about. There's something to worry about. Something is not right. How? How so? I can't seem to figure it out, but I know that very soon I'll find out. How do you know? Me? Let the single ones like us breathe. She's married. Me, Abby? She not. Why are you disturbing her? Once you enter the marriage, are you good? Third willing, I'll be fourth willing. I can't seem to figure it out, but I know very soon I'll find out what it is. Oh, okay. You do that, no. You will not let the married ones breathe. They are married. For how many years? She didn't care. Let all single ones have fun, yeah? I mean, I'm really surprised at you right now. Are you the one saying this? Anyways, no problem. I'm going to find out what the problem is, and when I do, I will tell you I told you so. Detective! Let the married ones breathe! Let them breathe! Ugh. Lucy is in serious danger. Very good. 
again about Lucy. Can you let this girl be? She's fine. Ah. You know, sometimes I just feel like there's something you know that I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm telling you that our friend Lucy is in serious danger and you're saying this. Okay, okay. What happened? I just had a terrible dream where she was at a point of death and was calling me to help her. It's a bad dream. This, what, this is serious, eh? Usually dreams are a reflection of what has happened, eh? So, basically, you're thinking about her too much. If you keep doing that, you have, you can have your own life. You, you're, thinking, you're even dreaming of... You know what? It's a dream. Next time, when you dream, eh? Don't wake me up. Gray is not being straightforward with us. Why did he give me his number instead of Lucy's number? No. Something is wrong somewhere. And until I find out, I won't rest. I know my spirit. I know myself. I can't remember the last time I had such dream. It's a typical signal that my friend is in need of my help. She needs my help. Done. No, I know you're very hungry. Mm? Don't worry. I'm rushing, okay? I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Sure, go ahead. Why are you always at home and you don't go out? Not even to take me to school. Some of my classmates, their mom take them to school. <sighs> okay, um, Larry, mommy decides to be at home to stay away from trouble and also to get your food ready. You and dad's food. So that before you come home, food is ready. Are you sure, mom? Of course, Dan. Of course. Okay. Okay, mom. So you go and sit in the room and your food will be ready. Okay, mom. All right. Okay. Larry suspecting. Well, that's expected, so. Honey, I have begged you countless times. Can you just put this to end? Please. He was not asking uns unanswerable questions I won't be able to answer. Please. I said that you started doing that thing that I hate. That thing that I detest. You're doing it again. It's not like that. It's just Enough! Lucy, I don't want to discuss this ever again. You understand? 
Schritte weiter. I don't get it. I, I, I truly don't understand it. We had an agreement. So why are you trying to paint me like the bad person here? Why are you making me look bad? I'm not. But it's been five years and I've been pleading with you, begging you to forgive me, to let go. And I've forgiven you. But an agreement is an agreement. Until I'm convinced. There's no point. We're good. You just have to keep to the terms of the agreement. But how long? Five years, isn't it a long time? I mean, when was the last time you kissed me? When was the last time we played, we talked? When was the last time you touched me? Stop. You're gaslighting me and I don't like it. Now this is the end, this is the last time I'm gonna have this discussion. I'm, we're done with this. Let me just add that I still feel, I, I, I think you still have plans to see her. And so when the time, when it's time for you to, for me to let you out of here, I will. But for now, I don't trust you. So in this house, under my roof, you will stay until I'm satisfied. I'm sorry, I was busy at work. Why can't mom pick me up from school? Okay, so I just told you that I was busy at work. Stop all these questions. I need to rush off, drop you off, and then head back to the office. Dad, that's, that's a harsh word, you know. Sorry, not the harsh tone. Okay? So how was school today? It was fine, Dad. I think I need to pay Gray another visit. Again. Babes, the mission to rescue Lucy is not over yet. Oh, I feel like you should let this woman be now. You spoke while and said she's fine, so why are you still worried? What are you talking about? This lady is our friend. And she's scared when I spoke to her. The Lucy I spoke to over the phone is not the same Lucy I know. She's scared. Something is wrong. And we need to save her. <sighs> okay, so what's your plan? At least let me know. Now you're talking. I'm coming. When I'm back, I'll let you know. Huh? See, Gray, I need you to help me make sense to this because I still don't understand why Lucy, that we all know back then, used to be friendly with everybody. We call her the social butterfly. Now, all of a sudden, she has become an introvert. <laughs> an introvert that we can't even have a number. I don't know how many times you want me to say this. I've told you before. How many times do you want me to say it before you can understand? Lucy's too busy with work. You need to tell me as many times as I will understand. Are you telling me how to learn my home? Gray, I am not telling you how to run your home. 
I understand boundaries, but this is Lucy, my friend we're talking about here. It still does not make any sense. I'm going to say something and I'm going to say it only once. Okay? And I want you to listen. If you don't believe what I've told you, then that's, that's on you. That's fine. But I'm really busy with work and I'd have to ask you to leave. Really? Great, it hasn't gotten to that extent. Please leave my office. Okay, no problem. I'm going to leave, but I want you to also know that if anything happens to Lucy, I'm going to hold you responsible. You're very entitled because I let you into my office space. Please leave. I'm leaving. But if anything happens to Lucy Gray, if anything happens to Lucy, you'll be held accountable for it. Good day. Yes, please, I'm not seeing anybody else. Just, I don't want to see anybody else. Thank you. Belinda? Belinda? Hello? Hello? I feel like Gray is hiding something from us. Yeah, I feel he's actually hiding something for him to be doing like this. You know, I told you, but you said nothing. Listen, you can't blame me. You spoke to her and she said she's fine. Can you even hear yourself? Lucy is scared. She's not fine. So what are we going to do? I don't know for now, but I'm going to figure something out. I'll figure something. When I figure something out, I'll let you know. Uh, Lucy's friend. She came to the office asking for Lucy's number. You know, even after I gave her my number for her to reach Lucy when she wants, you know. Well, I, I don't blame her. Excuse me? Come on. They're friends. So, they're friends. Does that give her the right to tell me how to run my home? They've not seen each other for years. Bro, spare me a beg. Alright, just take it easy with her. Please. Yeah. Yeah? Of course. Do you miss me? I miss you too. This night. I'm I'm not busy. I'm not busy at all. Now. Yeah. Belinda, you're still on this call. Hurry up now, we're going to be late. Hurry up now, hurry up. Yeah. You know we need to meet Gray and Lucy at home. Oh my God, I'm sorry. Are you ready? Yes, All right, let's go. Let's hurry up. All right.
I think she goes them. I thought I said she leaves very early. That's what your husband told me now. You see what I'm saying? That these people, I've been suspecting them. Something is up. Oh, it's just seven. Mm, I think no. I'm not sure. Let's just wait. Let's let, let's give her more hours. But well, she's looking very nice. Yeah. She's looking healthy now. Wait, let's wait. Let's stick around now. Maybe she's going to go out later. She's not coming out. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. We have to, you understand, stay around. I'm not saying let's go. Let's stay. Yeah, morning, ho. All right, boy. See you later. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Okay. All right. Hello? Yeah, hello? Uh, babe, what's up? Honey, you forgot the list that I gave you on the table. I forgot to, because I was in a hurry. Don't worry, I'll come back to pick it up. Okay, fine. He's very heartless. That guy is so mean. Vanessa, you're right, but like you need to calm down. At least you've set your eyes on her now. Set my eyes on her? That is not enough. It's not enough, Linda. I know. But you saw her. She's looking healthy. <sighs> looking healthy. Did you see that? She didn't live with them. And he said that he, he, she normally leaves very early and comes back late at night. But we saw her. She was inside that house. She never left with them. <sighs> Grace, such a wicked person. I knew something was up. I knew something was wrong. That guy has, that guy has been lying to us. You're right, but you still need to calm down. Just can't tell me to relax. This is Lucy we are talking about. Our friend. This girl is being held captive in her house. We need to rescue her. We need to do something about it. Oh, she looks very nice. She looks fine. She looks he healthy. <laughs> You're funny, Linda. This is not enough. I will go to that office and I will tell him to his face. I know everything. <sighs> Relax. He's looking nice. Great, so this is what you've been doing to Lucy all this while. Yes, we saw everything. Just tell us, what are you hiding? The only reason I'm entertaining you and this nonsense that you're doing is because you're Lucy's friend and I respect her opinion. But I'm really busy now and I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Now I also want you to listen because I am going to get to the bottom of this. Get out of my office. I am not going anywhere. Do not think this is over. Because I really want to know why you are keeping my friend in that house like a slave. Get out of my office or I'll call security. <laughs> now you're threatening me. But I'm not scared of your empty threats. Because I know definitely I'll get to the bottom of this. We shall see. Let's try my to make things right for you and I. 
Can't you feel my pain? I'm dying slowly, feeling all the guilt. I don't wanna say goodbye. I'm here to stay. You are all I want. Just give me another chance. Give me another chance to put things right for you. Oh, baby. I know I really hurt you bad, but I wish it never happened. I've learned from my mistakes. Can you please give me a chance to make it right? I am sorry. I am sorry. I am sorry. You know, when I'm talking about this whole Lucy situation, it'll be like, uh, my one is too much. But you, 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 Linda, I don't know, you're just acting as if you don't care about Lucy. This is our friend we're talking about. We need to do something about her. Don't make it look like I don't care. I do care. I have, I've worried, but we've seen her, she's fine. Like, there's, there's nothing. Linda, she's not fine. Gray is a mean person. We don't know what Gray is doing to Lucy. He might be molesting her, he might be domestic violence, anything. We need to do something. This is our friend we're talking about. Remember now, back in the day, Lucy. Lucy is the life of the party. Marriage can do a lot of things. This is her husband. They are happy together. Why, why should we interfere? Like, I'm just trying to say that there's no need to like really bug in. Do you understand? I don't, I don't, I don't get you right now. Why do you always act like you don't care? This is our best friend. We're so close back in the day. Why should we just abandon her because she's married? She decided to get married. She Deci decided to be the married one. We are single. Don't make it so long. Come on. She's happy where she is. How do you know she's happy? Because Grace said so. See, see that's why every time we talk of this, 
it, you make it look like I'm the bad person. I'm not. I've seen. I don't need to bug into their marriage. This is their marriage, their wedding. Their... Then show some concern. I'm Stop worried. acting like you don't care. Or is there something you're not telling me? Is there something you know I don't know? I have no idea what you're talking about. See, I don't see why I should hide anything. What am I hiding? What do you need to know? What I know is that we need to confront Grace. And if Grace tries to stop us, I'm going to... Um, hey, he's going to see my rot. No, Vanessa, fine. Every time we argue about this, I'm always hit as a bad one. I'm not married, though. I'm not the married one. I'm not the married one. <laughs> Belinda, Vanessa, wow, okay. It's been five years. Yeah. How have you been? You look good. I'm good. Okay, just I'll be in a minute. Yeah. You shouldn't have no, bought that. Oh, I'm what? serious. You shouldn't have bought that. We're not here for drinks. We're here for something more important. Okay. What's wrong? What's going on? We should be asking you that. You've been locked up in your house for years. And who told you that? Come on, babes. Don't do that with us. The other day, we saw your husband drove out of the house. We we're waiting to see you if you come out, but you never, you never did. We waited for hours. And how do you know that? <laughs> you think we're not going to keep an eye on you? I was expecting that answer, by the way. Maybe I was off from work. Did you think about that? Let me see. What? Don't do that with us. We're your friends, your best friends for that matter. Come on, babes. What's what's going on? Talk to us. What's going on? You're no longer on social media. Your numbers are not connecting anymore. What's, what's the problem? Vanessa, I'm fine. Really, I'm fine. You're just boring too much. <sighs> Lucy, are you sure? We're your best friends, oh. Talk to us. I'm fine. Okay. If you say so, we'll be taking our leave now. Right. Yeah, we touched your drink. You can have your drink. Exactly. Because, uh, Lucy, you're behaving like someone that they are using juju to Vanessa. control. Like, this is not the Lucy I know anymore. Vanessa, let's go. Let's go. No problem. If you say you're fine, so be it. But just know that this is not Lucy I used to know. This is this is not my best friend. No problem. Okay. You're sure you're fine. I'm fine. <laughs> I miss you. I miss you more. <laughs> um, so am I gonna get a hug?
You know, Linda, I am now very convinced that Lucy is not herself. <sighs> like, I could see it in her eyes, the fear. Do you know she shouldn't even look at us? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Now you see what I've been saying since. <sighs> okay, so what's your plan? What's, what has been the plan so far? What's going on? You trust me now. <laughs> I'll pick up something. Listen, whatever you're doing, do not forget that she's a married woman. Let's not cross boundaries. Don't forget what I said. Vanessa, what is the name of this? Listen, I know you're holding Lucy hostage, and I have every evidence to prove it. What are you talking about? What evidence? Gray, the earlier you release Lucy, the better for me. All right, let me let me let me tell you this. Uh, Vanessa, I've I've had enough of your insults. Now don't you ever barge into my office like this again. You hear me? Now get out. This is not over. This is not over. I am going to be back. Get I'll out. be back soon. Get out of my office. What insolence? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Uh, listen. Hey, hey, listen. Listen. The next time you let any unauthorized person into this office. That will be your last day at work. And not only that, I'll get you arrested. That's before I go to so it doesn't sleep at night? No, no, no. It's business too much. To sleep? Mm -hmm. Doesn't sleep at night. Mm -hmm. Is a peaceful bird, right? Welcome, mm honey. -hmm. Dad, welcome. How are you? Lucy, meet me in the room now. Maybe the room. Meet me in the room now. Okay. What's going on between you and Dad? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing to worry about, okay? Let me turn to Daddy. Why did you tell your friends about our marriage? Honey, which friends? Don't provoke me. Don't provoke me. How many of your friends know where we live? Um, if you're talking about Vanessa and Belinda, I, I didn't tell them anything. We only talked about ourselves. I don't understand. Why? Okay. Um, yes, it's true. They asked me what was going on. But, but baby, I promise I didn't tell them anything. I was even surprised to see them. I think those friends of yours should stop coming here. Yeah. Babe, babe, babe. I said I think I've made myself clear. I don't want to see those friends of yours in this house again. But baby, what happened? 
Vanessa, look, I can't take this anymore because I'm tired of supporting you. What's all this? What do you mean by that? Why did you go to Gray's office to confront him? Why wouldn't I? No, tell me. Why wouldn't I? Listen, I understand that you're with your plea with, you know, Lucy's our friend, all this, but she's now his wife. Before she became his wife, she was our friend. Our best friend for that matter. Listen, I understand where you're coming from, but like, you don't want to go into Grace's bad book. That man is dangerous. No problem. I've heard you. Sometimes I feel like you want to even put yourself in a trap. Anything. I'll get to the bottom of this. Dad, hmm? I want to ask you something. What is going on between you and mom? She's always sad. Mm, nothing. There's nothing going on between us. We're good. Then why is she always crying? <laughs> oh, my boy. Well, she could be crying for a number of reasons. Maybe she remembered something from her past. or It could be anything, but it has nothing to do with us. No. Are you sure, Dad? Of course, I'm sure. Sit down. Let's watch TV. I'm good. I'm sure. Have you done your homework, though? Hmm? Have you done your homework? Fine. All these years, I have practically lived a life of my own, being isolated from family and friends. You even stopped me from doing any business to assist him. I have begged. I'm begged, but his heart seems cold. Should I quit this marriage? No. If I do, what will I tell people that is my reason? Besides, I love my husband and son. <laughs> I'm very sorry, Gray. And God knows I am. I know I really hurt you bad, but I wish it never happened. I've learned from my mistakes. Can you please give me a chance to make it right? I am sorry. I am sorry. Yeah, yeah. I am sorry. Detective, this is the man. Arrest him. What is this? Hold on. What is the meaning of this? Okay, Mr. Agree, my name is uh, Detective Tunde. You have to follow us to the station. <laughs> follow you for what? I'm not a troublemaker. What is this? Well, there's an information on uh, my table that you uh, are keeping this woman hostage here. Vanessa, you brought the detective to my house to arrest my husband. For what? Detective, anything she has to say right now. Do not believe her, because she's not seen with her right senses. Detective, I and my husband were good. We have no misunderstanding at all. Okay. Um, Mrs. Lucy, are you trying to convince me to believe that you are at peace with your husband? <laughs> Officer. I and my husband have no issues at all. As you can see, I'm not kept hostage. Detective, I have told you, do not believe anything she has to say here. Just take her out. She'll tell you everything you need to know. Okay, at this point, uh, Mr. Agria, I insist you follow us to the station for further investigation. Okay, so this is beginning to seem like an assault on my personality. Okay. 
The woman in question is an adult. She's right here. And, I mean, she can speak for herself if she's being kept hostage, right? Um, okay. Um, Miss Vanessa, at this point, I think we'll have to leave. Looking at this couple, they're happy and loving each other. So I don't see any reason for this alarm. Officer, don't tell me you're believing this whole theatrics. It's so obvious that this man is manipulating my friend. She can't say anything here. Officer, we have to leave with her. Okay. Um, seeing is believing. From what I'm seeing, I think they are good. And if you want me to believe your submission, you need more evidence to convince us. I can't do otherwise. I bet to. Please, I'm so sorry for the whole. I mean, no, it's, time has been wasted. It's nothing. It's nothing. Let me just see you off, please. Sorry. Yes, yes. I don't. I don't. Detective, you can't believe anything that Grace says to you. He's a liar. Well, uh, Miss Vanessa, I want you to understand that you're dealing with Nigerian police, and there is. Where we operate, you understand. Um, as far as this case is concerned, we've done our best. But if you still want us to believe your allegations against Mr. Gray, you need to give us more evidence. You need to prove, we need more. We can't just verge into his house and arrest him without enough evidence. Detective, we can't leave her in there. She's not she's not safe. Miss uh, Vanessa, you need to calm down. Hear what she's saying now. So we need more uh, proof to arrest him. She's mad. So you need to calm down for now. Yeah. Like you said, just keep on following them up. And once you have any other thing, you alert us and we follow it up. It's very simple. I'm sorry. Now you see what I've been telling you from boy. What did you tell your friends? Trust me, I didn't say anything. So why are they saying that I kept you hostage? I don't know anything. What did you tell your friends? Baby, believe me. I didn't say anything. Trust me. I didn't. We're not done with this discussion. Honey, I'm sorry. What was it on the phone the other day? My brother is Belinda and uh, Vanessa. They are out to destroy my marriage. Wait, 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 calm down. What exactly happened? Vanessa brought police to my house the other day to arrest me. She what? I'm telling you, honestly. Why would she do something like that? Yeah, her complaint to the police was that uh, I was keeping my wife hostage in my house. My own wife. You know, I asked you about this the other time and you gave me no response. What is her problem with your family? Why is she taking me so personal? That girl is daring me. What is even her business with your family? Is she mad or something? I'm gonna break her wings. No, no, no. You really need to be with her. I'm gonna break that girl's wings because. Oh, really? Wow, wow. Oh. Mm -hmm. Vanessa, what you did was wrong and uncalled for. What do you mean by that? Why would you bring the police to Gray's house to arrest him? Oh, about that. He told you. Anyways, um, did he also tell you that he has been keeping my friend caged in the house like a prisoner? If you believe your friend is being caged, that does not still give you the audacity to involve yourself in his family matter. It's a family matter. Listen, Steve, forgive her, but like Vanessa is only trying to protect our friend. Protect your friend by bringing the police in. See, Steve. He should be thanking God that I only brought the police. I would have done more than just bringing the police. Wait, wait, what, what do you mean? This should be the first and the last time that you involve yourself in Grace's family issue. Go get the husband. And you're not Lucy's mother either. Why are you shouting at me? Why are you shouting? Please, leave my house. You've overstayed your welcome. Leave! You sending me out of your house? No, I'm sending you in. Leave my house! You think I am Lucy? Best of same feather flocks together. 
Leave! Steve, leave my house! You came to my house to yell at me. What around nonsense? Vanessa, don't you think you should calm down? This case is becoming serious and frightening. Come on, like, let peace reign. Listen to me. I have signed my death warrant on this case. No matter how frightening it is, I am ready to do whatever it takes to rescue Lucy. Do you actually, like, can you, do you hear yourself? Are you listening to yourself? Are you, this is another man's marriage that you're trying to penetrate like this. Oh. The rich man's marriage. Before she got married to that so-called husband of hers, I was her friend first. I was her best friend. So if you want to back off, you can back off, Linda. Back off. But I am not backing off on this case. I make sure I rescue Lucy. Please, just back off and leave me. I do understand that you're trying to protect me, but I need you to understand that I am fine. I'm okay. Is that why you invited me? Vanessa, this is my marriage we're talking about, which you're about destroying. What marriage are you talking about? The same marriage that got you locked up for years without you achieving anything for yourself? Vanessa, I've not been indoors. <sighs> Fine, as you rightly put it, okay? Maybe I lied about work, but look at me. I'm fine. I'm really fine. Sorry to disappoint you, but if this is why you invited me, you just wasted your time. Uh, how do you mean? Because <laughs> I'm going to get to the root of this matter. If you don't tell me what's going on. Vanessa, you're forgetting one thing. This is my marriage. Lucy, you are my friend. This same marriage you're talking about, marriage, marriage, marriage. Tell me what's going on. I'm here to help you. Vanessa, for the last time, I'm fine. Lucy, it's so obvious that you called me here to waste my time. You're not ready to say anything to me. When you're ready to tell me something, let me know. For now, I will take my leave. But remember, I will get to the root of this. Did you have a discussion with your friend as agreed? And what did she say? Baby, she's just strong headed with her words and she refused to even listen to me. Ah, that girl is testing my patience. That girl is testing my patience. Well, babe, please take it easy with her. This lady, are you behind everything that girl is doing? Of course not. I, I don't even know any of her plans. Better. Better. So Frank, this is what you tell me Mr. Tinde. Tell him that for over five years, you've not set your eyes on Lucy. You mean Lucy has been in this town with that monster for over five years now? Not just that. She's not allowed to go anywhere. Gray practically locks her in the house. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Frank, I know you want to rescue your sister, but please, whatever you're doing, please don't forget that he's your sister's husband. No, 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 Belinda. Is, is, is this what you're saying? I'm only saying that you don't need to go hard on them. That's all. Please, do not listen to her. Let me just go get something for you to eat. When you're done eating, we'll go see Mr. Tindu together, eh? Just try and sleep well. Okay. okay. That's good. I beg you. Uh, 
I've been expecting you to come here and do your worst, as Elia threatened. But now it's clear to me that you have no shame. Because after everything, you still have the guts to show your stupid self here. Well, Bray, you have every right. It's your opinion, and you have a right over it. But I'm here to say that I'm living my life as an adult. And people that think they're perfect like you in it, you can't stop me. Oh, less than 30 seconds, maybe 60. You're going to tell me why you're in my office and you will leave. I'll get you arrested. <laughs> well, I'm here to remind you that one, I'm not afraid of you and you're overreacting. And remember, it's your word against mine. Leave my office. Okay. Oh, what are you doing here? So you're surprised to see me. So this is where you kept my sister for five years now. You even shut her off social media. Vanessa. So you have succeeded in breaking up my home. Hmm? Detective, please arrest this man. Don't set him free until he leaves my, my, my friend. Mr. Gray, as you can see, your wife's brother is here. He came all the way from the village to make the same report that you're holding their sister hostage for five years. And at this point, I don't have any other option than to take you to the station for further investigation. Okay. Um, sir, I, I, I know that you're just doing your job. And I appreciate that. Okay, I honestly do. We'll take a good look at the woman in question. Does she look like somebody who's been held hostage or kept against her will? Doesn't that sound ridiculous to you? She's fine for crying out loud. Well, uh, in as long as I would want to agree with you. At this point, I don't have um, to believe you. I have to take this woman to a conducive environment so that she can feel free to tell us everything that is happening in this house. You're very lucky we've not seen for years. If not, I would have strangled you for keeping my sister in prison. Uh, you're pushing me. Everybody's pushing me to the wall, honestly. There's something I didn't want to say before, but I'm going to talk, yeah. since you want me to talk. Ha! Praise the Lord. Finally, he wants to talk. Let us start talking. Talk, let's hear. Honey, please don't say anything, please. I didn't want to say anything before, but I've been pushed so hard, so it all started on my wedding day. Yeah, man, you look good. Yeah, the deep blue, the flex so. Thank you. I can't wait to get it done, to be honest. So what you call me, man? <laughs> you don't dress enough. Uh -huh. My wife to be. My wife to be. <laughs> Oof! You're very thick, thick. Yeah, all right. To be honest, this marriage thing is not my thing, but it's what you want, and I don't have a problem. Just don't forget one thing. After three years, you're done with him. Either you kill him, or you divorce him, and that's what I want. Come here, baby girl. Congratulations. <laughs> way back in secondary school. It was an all girls school. Please forgive I, me. I don't understand it. How? 
You were doing this all this while? I didn't know about it. I'll never repeat such a game, I promise. I'll never do it again. I don't want to lose you, please. I feel... I feel like this marriage can only hold on one condition. Anything, anything. I'm going to accept your conditions, anything. You will have no friends. You will change your number. No social media. No visitors. And lastly, you will stay indoors till further notice. All these conditions are too much for me. That's the only way. The only other option is that we get a divorce and then go back home and you tell your people what you've been practicing all these years. That's the alternative. Okay, fine. I'll accept. Don't touch me. Fine. I accept all the conditions. Good for you. There you have it. I didn't want to say anything before, but I was pushed. That's the reason I did what I did. That's the reason we agreed for that to happen. My goodness. Lucy, is that true? Hi. I wonder that stupid Belinda refused to be to, to, to take part, part in this whole stuff. Please, you all should forgive me, please. It, it's all in my past, please. For me, sis. So you need two women? No. Uh, Madam, as you can see, this thing is against the law, and I have to take you to the police station for further investigation. Sorry, um, Detective. Let me step in here. This is a personal issue, and I don't think. I mean, it's something that we can settle in house. It, it happened five years ago, and there's really no basis for her arrest. Please. Are you assuring me that you can handle this amicably? Yes, I can handle it. It's not, it's not really a, a major issue. Okay, there's no cause for alarm. I have been following you up and um, I am sure and I know that you are a gentleman. So please, if there's anything, don't hesitate to let us know. Vanessa, you come to the station later so that we'll tidy things up. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm sorry for wasting your time. I was pushed to the wall and well, it's all out there now. And I feel like this is a perfect opportunity for me to say what I have to say, really. I'm ready to dissolve this marriage. Great, please don't be like that. Like you said, it happened five years ago. Please just forgive her. I, I am to be blamed for all this. Please. 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 My love. Vanessa. You just put this issue to the family now. We will solve this out amicably. I know I really want to find. But I wish it never happened. My English. I've learned from my mistakes. Can you please give me a chance to make it right? I am sorry. Hello? So you and Lucy are lesbians. That's why you never supported me. Wait, what are you even talking about? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. You definitely know what I'm talking about. So you're behind the reason Lucy has not gone out of her house for the past five years. Please, can you come out straight? Because right now you're not... Talk to me. Don't be stupid right now, Belinda. You know what I'm talking about. So you were having an affair with Lucy and the husband caught you on her wedding day. That's why she has been locked in the house off social media for all those years and you never said anything. You're heartless. You're very, very wicked. Listen, uh, my darling, my darling. I'm actually sorry that you have to find out like this, but to be very honest, this is the 21st century, like, those days are gone. What are you saying? Like, I'm an adult. I can do whatever I want to do. Do you understand? I'm sorry that you had to find out like this, honestly. I really do love you as my friend, but like, you can't just judge me. And it's not my fault. I actually didn't tell her to get married. You're a very heartless friend. My God will judge you. Come on, get out of my phone. I don't even know. Like, it just feels like I caused this whole stuff. 
and the stupid girl was just there watching me wave like a mad person. But you know we can't leave this house now. I don't use my hand, go by Mata. Sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry.